you do what they want. They will treat you well. Thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Usu, you are in Wari, and Wari is my hometown. And back in Ghana, I'm in Central Region, which is your hometown. Yeah. So what we'll do, I'll find a time to host the Ghanaian community here. Okay. Yeah, I'll find a time to see you people so that we can eat together. Let the world know that Ghana and Nigeria we are one. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, you are hello welcome. Thank you so much for joining. For my returning viewer, thank you so much for always coming back. A lot of times we come across videos and see Nigerians who live in Ghana and who also share their experience what they think about the country Ghana and their experience living in Ghana. But today we are taking a look of a Ghanaian who lived in Nigeria for over 30 years and share the experience what to think about the country Nigeria. Okay, my name is Kofi, Kofi Jemfi. Um, I'm dealing with spare pass specifically uh, auto pass um i've been going to nigeria i've been staying there since 1992 and i know many Ghanaians who are also there working there some are having shops some are having uh, drinking bars some are having boutique some are selling phones many many people they are doing retailing because i know many Ghanaians are in lagos where i am staying for unupanu and groove can you decide i can tell you most about 100 Ghanaians i know there they are working no 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 nigeria is one of the place precisely lagos is one of the place i'm staying everybody is doing his work you will not know the difference between ghana and ghanaian and nigerian then as i did if i did for lagos people take me take me as like a yoruba man but i'm ghanaian there are some people, uh, if you see them, uh, you see them, you think is they are Igbos, but they are Ghanaians. We have mingled with them, no task forces harassing anybody concerning go and pay this or go and pay that. Though the laws are working there, but it's not harassing anybody. And we are not using huge amount, amount to do work there. Any amount of money that you you will be able to carry, you can do your own business where you want to do. It did mention that uh, yeah. you don't need much money to go there. Yeah. They say before mm -hmm. someone can work uh, or can come in to the country, but must have a, like one million dollars. I want to know the, if if that's such of amount is required, or you be have been harassing or uh, pushing mm -hmm. people to have that sort of money before you can go there. No, my brother. One million dollars is not small amount of money. Even Ghana here, how many people have that money to do work? How many people have one million dollars to do work? Business is a, a, a means of what you have. You can you go to business according to your capacity. Nobody will tell you to take so, so, so amount to do your business. Business is a gradual process. Somebody can start with 100,000, then the next you go to 200, 300, whatever. So that place, there's nothing like amounts. Nobody co is concerned about the amount that you are using for business. It's, it's not a company that you are opening. If it's if in a company that you are opening, then you say it's a company, but this is not company. This is a, something like a, how do you call it? Say it's a normal trading. So normal trading doesn't need a lot of money. Any amount that you can use to do the business, you can use it. It's your own business. So why should I go and find such a huge amount before I will go and do the business? The law, the law says, and it says that uh, it, it, it forbids foreigners from trading. Yeah. So let's compare Ghana to Nigeria. I think they must have similar laws. Yeah. I think they must have similar laws. And uh, if you have heard of such. I, I, I think what we are talking about is maybe somebody opening a company, but not a trading. Company is different from trading. If somebody is establishing company, something like uh, MTN have uh, their company here, something like uh, uh, maybe Guinness Ghana or Guinness Nigeria or whatever, anything that is company, that one you can demand such amount. But we are talking about trading. We are not talking about company because I know that I don't know much about this law, but I know that this law is being taken like somebody establishing a company, not a, a, a trading. And what we are talking about trading but not a company a company is something that is a huge amount of money hey but if if we are talking about trading and we are demanding one million dollars for trade uh, for each person before the person can do trading that's i don't understand that law well maybe it's they are, they are talking about company if they are talking about company i know that company is supposed to have 
a big amount of money. It may even it, it could be it could be many people who has combined their money to establish company. Like when I saw this video of this Ghanaian man talking about Nigeria and sharing his experience living in Nigeria, I was so happy to see that at least Ghanaians also have lived in Nigeria and also have this experience to talk about Nigeria. A lot of Ghanaians have lived in Nigeria in the past and some of them are still there up to date. They have not lived there. But it's just that you don't see them on social media the way you see Nigerians who are living in Ghana talking about Ghana. When I come across this math video, I was just paying attention to listen to what they have said. And it's true. When you go to Nigeria and you see Ghanaians, you cannot even tell if they are Ghanaians and if they are not Nigerians. Before I moved to Ghana, I have come across one Ghanaian before in my lifetime before I came. Yes, that was a very long time ago. That was 2010. Yeah, a very long time ago. I've come across one Ghanaian who come to our neighborhood to buy goods and take to maybe Lagos to say this, this man come to my state in Nigeria, he will come to our house, yes, to buy some goods for my mom and this man will take this goods to Lagos to say that was the first Ghanaian man I've ever seen before I came. That man was the first man I've ever met as a Ghanaian and make me understand, okay, this is what Ghanaian look, yes. When we see this man coming on the roadside, like when he's coming to our house, because he do come to our house to buy things from my mom, we just be shouting Ghana man, Ghana man. Yes, everybody in the neighborhood just call this man Ghana man. We don't even know his name, but we just call him by the country. So you see, this man represents Ghana to me at that time. I have not been to Ghana. I didn't even know that I would even come to Ghana at that time. So when I see this video of this Ghanaian man sharing his experience about Nigeria, I was happy because I know that a lot of Ghanaians have lived in Nigeria in the past and they are still there living there. But it's not like compared to our Nigerians are moving to Ghana now. So Ghana and Nigeria, it has been a journey. Not today Ghanaians go to Nigerians and not today Nigerians move to Ghana a lot. Even where I'm staying now, my apartment, the owner of the place lived in Nigeria more than 20 years. This man is a Ghanaian. So when I even came to take the apartment and I said I'm Nigeria, I was okay, which state are you from? I mentioned my state. This man, oh I've been to your state before. I live in Nigeria for years. A lot of a lot of my neighbors say their uncles their aunties have lived in Nigeria before. And Nigeria is a wonderful country. You can hear for what they are saying. They're able to live there. Let's take a look at a video of a Ghanaian man who also shared the experience living. So I'm live here in um, Delta State here in Wari actually um, with some leaders of the South South community in Ghana. Um, Chief David Okweku is actually at the background. I'm here with uh, Mr. Owusu who is the utility uh, manager of this huge school here in, um, in the heart of uh, of Worry Delta State. Mr. So, to tell us, um, how have you been treated here as a Ghanaian? Oh, it, it, it is cool because we are, we, are, we are treated here very, very, very well. Very well. The, the owner of this place, like Ghanaians, and the teachers are here, love Ghanaians. Everybody has love Ghanaians in this place. Even in uh, Nigeria, even the uh, Delta here, Ghanaians are, are, are living here very 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 happy we don't have any problem here no so what um, tell us do some of them have all the required documents like some of them are not trading? it's not everybody it's not everybody have the requirement but they are still trading and nobody has any anybody uh prepares all your requirement before you trade nobody the, the only yeah, i can tell you that only few only few that have requirement many if you say they want to they want to just uh, uh remove Ghanaians or check Ghanaians who have document, valid document. It, it will not get maybe 30%. Wow. You have the Ghanaian community here in, in, in Delta State. I also learned you had a conference here the last time. Yes. And you also talked about your sister who is also into... Um, Generalism. Into, she's okay, into, my sister that... Uh, that okay. Is a, yeah, what, what kind of patronage does she get from Nigeria? Yeah, yeah, it's very huge. It's very huge. Because... The Nigeria, Nigerians, one thing that uh, Nigerians love Ghanaians. So when they see that uh, Ghanaians do some, something, they like to patronize you because they see Ghanaians, 
that uh, they are very good. If you involve yourself into any crime, they arrest you, they deal with you as the law required in Nigeria here. Yeah, that's all. Nobody will say because of you, you are not perfect. They will go around begin to harass all the Ghanaians together. No. They will deal with you in the law that in Nigeria have here. Personally. They will not involve any person. You are also here with your children, your family. How long have you been here? I'm about, about around 15 years. And you're here with the children? Yes. You see that boy passed just now. It's my... my, my that's what they, that one that uh, graduated on that Saturday. says a and he's a footballer. And he's trying to go to football academy in Ghana. Said, yeah. Because he said he don't want to do anything. He said he want to play football. And he's a very good footballer. Here, yeah, they give him many awards. Many awards, uh, best uh, footballer and all that. And he said... It's a too fat for uh, games in this place. Uh, and no matter how you are, so far as you do what they want, they will treat you well. Thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Usu, you are in Wari, and Wari is my own town. I'm back in Ghana, I'm in Central Region, which is your own town. Yeah. So, what we'll do, I'll find the time to host the Ghanaian community here. Okay. Yeah, I'll find the time to see you people so that we can eat together. Let the world know that Ghana and Nigeria we are one. All these are amazing experiences about Ghana and Nigeria. Well, that is why on this channel I always talk about Ghana and Nigeria because I cannot tell you what I don't know. I have lived in both countries, so I cannot talk about a country that I've not been. So it will be nice. We have to say what I know. So when I see videos like this, I always want to share. I also want to bring it to the public to see that not only nigeria are moving to ghana ghanaians are also living in nigeria it's just that ghanaians are not the type it's just that ghanaians are not like nigerians for me what i've noticed about ghanaians like they are not like nigerians anywhere nigerians go they just want to show that we are here but ghanaians are kind of laid back even though they are in nigerians you won't even know they can be there just mind their business. Not only in Nigeria, if a Ghanaian man travel to any country, they try to just mind their business. Not in a bad way, but just try to be calm. But some Nigerians, some Nigerians, when they travel, they just want to show that we are here. Nigerians, I'm sorry, some of them cannot just keep calm. So that is why you see a lot of videos of Nigerians talking about Ghana, but you hardly see Ghanaians. In Nigerians who are talking about Nigeria is rare. If you go on social media talk about Ghana living in Nigeria, you will even find a lot because Ghanaians are not like Nigerians who are easy to talk to. And at the same time, I also think that in this era now, there's a lot of youth in Nigeria who are moving to Ghana to live. But it's very rare for Ghanaian youth to go to Nigeria now to stay. But not that Nigeria is bad. They just feel that they are okay in their country. They don't want to leave compared to the way Nigerian youth are moving to Ghana now. But Nigeria is a wonderful country. You can hear from them. I'm not the one saying it. They have lived there. They have shared their experience. So... Everybody can go to Nigeria and also explore. Yes, my experience and yours cannot be the same. So if you want to go to Nigeria, you can go. It's there for everybody to explore. You also get nice people over there who will also treat you nice. So I will not tell you that Nigeria is so, so zero. No, no, no. Nigeria is also a wonderful country wonderful people who also guide you and teach you the ways of the people and the culture of the land this time you see me talking about ghana nigeria because i love the both country they are my country ghana is my country nigeria is also my country okay so please if you have not subscribed to my channel please do me well by subscribing okay and also don't forget to like the video drop your comment below and i will see you in my next video Bye for now and stay blessed.